Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm here with my lover. Ah! Go check out my channel. Link's below. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I thought of a game to play. Jake basically writes down things that are like, Tessa wouldn't be Tessa without. Blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I love seeing what other people's views on me. I think it's because you're know, so like, inward that you don't really, you're not as cued in to what other people are thinking about you. Ah! Or just if someone today. tells you something about yourself that you didn't know and you're just like. Ah! You're like, yeah, A, not that many people are self-aware. Like, do I come across as I think I come across? But also. It's not my fault. I, I love like knowing get, my yeah. dynamic and like a relationship with four of my girlfriends just knowing like my role in the group. You're Samantha. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> I thought of as many as I could and apparently there's some that Tessa was like are fundamental and if I don't get them I don't actually know her. <laughs> then so not. stakes are high. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I play all my games. Yeah, all, all of this game she's like, do you know the two things I need before I get married? And I'm like... <gasps> Fuck. Sorry, bitch. Those were good, but I was thinking of these. No, I think I did actually really good. So Tessa texted me and was like, I hope they're not boring. Like, I hope they're. No, no, they're good. Tessa I hope texted they're me. niche. I don't want them to be like, you love animals. No, dude, no. <laughs> okay, cool. I went pretty crazy, and I have like, I have categories, and I have like, I mean, you can't see, but. Round one. I'm freaking out. Okay, sorry. Insert, Ooh. let's play a game. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen. What's the folder going to be for me? Click on Bay. I don't think so, honey. <clears throat> Round one. Food and drinks. Some of these are going to be, like, better than others. This is just everything about Tessa. All right, food and drinks. First one. Tessa cannot hold cold things. She calls them cold hands, cold hands. And if she gets a drink from the frozen section, ice cream from the frozen section, she makes me carry it. Cause she's like, cold hands, cold hands, I can't carry it. And she hands it to me. I hate it. Yeah. That wasn't one of my ones, but it should have been. I hate that. Cold hands is the worst feeling. It physically hurts me. Like I'm gonna cry afterwards. And then my hands feel like they're burning for the next like 20 minutes. It's weird. I mean, it's all You're a very good conductor. Every time Tessa eats, she spills shit on her. So much so <laughs> that she has earned the nickname with her family, Tess Mess. <laughs> Tessa picked me up from the airport last night, and she did like 50% of this list all in the time of hanging out. And I wanted to be like, oh, that's on the list, but I didn't want to give it away. So we sit down to eat, and she goes to take the first bite of her shit, and a giant glob of vegan cheese <laughs> just falls right on her. Tess Mess 100% will spill shit on her. Skipping categories, Tessa always wears my clothes. She just will wear it, and she spills shit on it all the time. If you let Tessa wear something you own, she's no, gonna get Jake stains on it. Jake gets so mad at me when I wear his clothes. Because you're gonna ruin it. You yeah, really will. I really Coffee, will. vegan cheese, any Anything. sort of grease. My parents, when I was little, it used to like shake me to my core. Whenever I would wear white, they'd be like, Oh god, <laughs> Tessa's gonna make a mess. Bitch, watch me win. And then I would- so Every single would, time. She doesn't care about being sticky. If I have yeah. stickiness on me, I freak out. Tessa doesn't care about it. It's like getting a haircut. You know your hair will grow. Getting sticky, I know I can wash that shit off. <laughs> you got owned! Another thing about food and drinks. Wait, hold on. I don't want anyone crying. Yeah. Should I give Ben new Kong? Kong toys. You've all seen them. I'm going to show you how to stuff it fast, easy, and so it works. <laughs> Okay, now that I have you alone, I gotta tell you something about Tessa that she'll never tell you. She is a Don't listen to her. Seriously, go check out my channel. Um, if it's not linked below, it's youtube.com backslash or whatever forward slash J S. <laughs> hey there. Is it so recording? Huh? Tessa loves dessert over every other snack. Rather than yeah. salty, go with dessert foods. Sweets. I would rather pay for an appetizer. You would right. rather pay for dessert. Oh, Even though you yeah. love appetizers. Yeah. But. I eat a lot of food. I love it. I love it. I love sweets, but I hate too sweet of sweet. She's wellness bay. Yeah. So if it's too sugary. 
I want like a raw dessert, no agave, you feel me? Yeah, just, I mean, come on, what more can a girl ask? My favorite dessert right now is like a crust made from like oats and dates with like coconut cream and like peaches on top and like a little vanilla, a little like sh yeah. tiny bit of maple. I mean, just to give you guys some context, last night Tessa was like, oh, I know what we can eat. And she pulled out zucchini chocolate chip muffins. Very good though. Tessa has a love-hate relationship with coffee. We both love coffee. It's like fundamental to our relationship. But every so often, Tessa's like, I gotta stop drinking fucking ca coffee. The caffeine's <laughs> giving me headaches and kidney problems, acne, and it's blah, blah, chronic pain in my neck. Taste-wise, like emotionally, just full-on addicted. I always try to stop because I know that's the betterment of my health. But, but I, I will quit. point out. A lot, a lot of studies have right showed that coffee is great for you. It reduces your risk of colon cancer. Um, some people even suggest it increases longevity. Um, it increases um, heart function. There's a lot of studies out there. To be honest, though, like, I'm probably a little unhealthily addicted to the high of coffee. Exactly. I don't want to just have one coffee. I want to have, like, five to where I'm literally tripping balls. and like, well, <laughs> That's the thing. Well, <laughs> that's the thing. Are you guys feeling this? Whoa. <laughs> what are you talking about? We just had a cappuccino. <laughs> Tessa's like picky as hell reading ingredients. Everything. Xanath go! So like you category two. Ooh. Style and taste. <laughs> Tessa does not have favorite colors or favorite numbers. <laughs> anything like that. She I... thinks it's so f stupid. How can you <laughs> like a single color? I like them all. I hate them all. It's the same shit. That used to be a pet peeve of mine. Like... Your favorite color is not black, bitch, and you're gonna change it in a year, so I don't give a f if it's your favorite color right now. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Every so often, Tessa will freak the f out and completely change her wardrobe. But to be fair, I wear things for years. I'm directly not my closet, I send them pictures and I'm like, remember I'm this? Like seventh grade and it's and literally shit. from like fifth grade, and they're like, what the f? <laughs> it is not normal that you're <gasps> keeping this shit. I might wear it, like, I might switch it up. Honest. Cute alert. Cute alert, cute alert. When Tessa and I like were first starting to canoodle, we went to this free Dr. Dog show and oh. Tessa was wearing this little cute flower shirt, like this like weird Hawaiian little shirt. Hawaiian flower shirt. I still have it. It's and I made her keep box. it. That's the cute thing. I made you keep it. There was oh. one time where you were gonna throw it out and I was like, bitch, no. Ah. Yeah, and then she has a pair of like really cute like boy style boxers that you wore yeah. over to my house. The same day actually, you guys had a, like a pajama party at your house. Actually, I thought it was a pajama party. No you one did? else. You thought it was a pajama party? I don't know what shit I was I think smoking, you were just like. But I showed up in my pajamas. I think you were just dope. No one else did. <laughs> All the other girls were like in heels. <laughs> yep. And, and Jake was like. For the first time. Kiss for the first time. Love you. Tessa will not read the back of books. Before she reads a book, she will not read the descriptions on the I back. Hate that she thinks one. it's like an epic spoiler or some shit. I never read. Yeah, I like it, to see. It the has mystery. me feeling like a John Green book. Like she never read the back of books, but it's honestly not like that. It really does spoil it sometimes. I do the same exact things with movies. Like I don't want to watch a trailer. It's in here. Really? Yep. You've heard about Tessa's hands. I know that. You've heard about her cold hands now. But have you heard about her silk hands? Oh, yeah. Tessa wouldn't be Tessa without silk hands. It means she can't hold anything. She drops everything. <laughs> her phone, cracked screen. A glass, shattered. Anything you hold or pick up, you drop. Yeah. Tessa wouldn't be Tessa without her weird-ass psychic abilities. I'm psychic as f***. Weird into no it, like, deep intuition, like... Reads people really well right away, but all... Predicts the future randomly. Yeah, no. <laughs> you are, dude. You're fucking psychic. It's creepy. It's weird. But actually, I found out, my dad told me recently that it runs in our family. He was like, well, you know your aunt always claimed she was clairvoyant. And I was just like... Another one. Tessa wouldn't be Tessa without. Whenever she's frustrated, she goes, Ugh. Over and over <laughs> again. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, you'll be on the phone with her. She's trying to pick you up at the airport and she like can't find you. And she's like, Ugh. it honestly like relieves me though. I feel better after I do it. Like I'm exerting. Tessa wouldn't be Tessa without the most loud ass annoying sneeze. Like, I like to deafen those around. It's so weird. 
freaking out at 3 a.m. and cleaning the whole damn house. Deep scrub, like baseboard shit. Go goes in. in like, I wears a mask. All the baseboards. Is butt ass naked. I like all the walls. Jake, you wonder if he's trying to be like intentionally shitty at cleaning. I go up and I'm just wondering if you tried. It's the classic, you missed a spot. That's how I feel. You <laughs> missed a spot. <laughs> 50 spot. This is one that is, it's rare to see. If you see it, it oh. means you are actually really close to Tessa. Oh. Tessa has <laughs> an extremely crude, dirty sense of humor. <laughs> really <laughs> bad. Oh my god, why did you <laughs> Say that. That is some dark shit. It's like dark and crude. Yeah, like the more evil the joke, the better. Yeah. I I bet you guys can relate. <laughs> Tessa wouldn't be tested without forgetting her phone and other shit. I don't care if I lose my phone. I could not have my phone for six months, and it hurts the people around me. They're kids without it. I've started making Jake carry it for me though, because then I know I'll always have it. Is that supposed to be cute or something? Is this the Hey Mom Tessa game? No, 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 no. Um, alright, that's it. And I have one major one that I'm really, or like, kind of two major ones that I'm surprised you didn't say. I only eat stuff with spoons and not forks. Dark showers. I only shower with all the lights off. The other one that I thought you might say is how I hold my pencil. It's so weird. She's like, I wanted like a fist. She never learned. <laughs> it was too hard, and I hated those <laughs> grips things. Like I was like, one, two, three, bye. bye. <clears throat> did it again? Did it again? Okay, one, two, three, bye. bye. No, it's too quick. It has to be a little longer. One, two, three, bye. bye.